Well, it's still unlocked. Oh my gosh, y'all, there is so much stuff. Okay, I gotta put you down for this one. Alright, let's get us some Easter cards. You know what? I am mean, just gonna grab this. Um, there we go. Oh, there's dollies in here. I can totally use this in my storage unit. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, I managed to get it out, y'all. I'm out of breath, but there's one. There's the second one. Parts here.
don't know what this stuff goes to, but... these are either. I don't know what these are. Seems like some kind of strapping. Suction lifter. I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. the leaf blower box. Okay. Hey y'all. Here's the um, blanket and that grab bag that I found out of one of the CVS dumpsters. There was nothing wrong with this blanket. It's not even really that dirty. It's just um, some of the stuff from the sitting on, in the dumpster. They must have just thrown it out the night before. So I'm gonna throw it in the washer and use it for my cat bed. Um, they have a basket that they sleep in. We've got some Trisket. As you would think that after all this time of finding stuff in the dumpster that I would be able to identify where the expiration dates are a lot quicker than I do. Look at that. June 19th, 2020. So I'll check it to see if it's been recalled. Some thin and crispy dark chocolate chip cookies. June 14th. Um, this is March of 2020, but it's it's still good. And like I said before, I found this at the expensive brand. Nice. CeraVe. Two of 2021. Huh. 
That's 420. Copper tone. Here's some CVS Sport. Now this one's one of 2020, but it's still good. Copper tone. Must have got it with a bunch of that. Here's another one of those. Here's a different kind, Beach Guard Sun Lotion. November of 2019. I don't know about that one. June 7th, Montauk. I don't know, I might be saying that wrong. <laughs> Mini Chessman. Oh, it's right in front of my face. <laughs> 620, 2020, so that's still good. I think we have one more thing in here. Let's see. Curad Performance Series Knee Support. But it's in there. It's never been opened. I mean, it doesn't look like it's been out of the package. Nice. Neoprene knee support. Cool. So, there's that. Hey, y'all. Here is the stuff that I found in that um, Rite Aid dumpster that they left unlocked. Job, but that doesn't sound very good. Watermelon flavored white fudge with a sour stick. <laughs> okay, interesting. Some milk chocolate bunny, Russell Stover. If I see repeats, I'll just um, stick them in the over here, which it looks like this. Some repeat. Oh, this big one here. Aw, bummer. It was warm the other day, so that one's a bust. I'm gonna imagine most of these are. Because the rest of these are fine. Those are were sitting on top, so they must have taken the brunt of the heat. Blue bunny. So what is y'all's favorite um, kind of chocolate? I know a lot of people like the Russell Stovers or the Whitman's. Um, my favorite is Seas Candy, which originated in California. They've been around for a long time. I know some airports have um, stands with the Seas Candy in them. But that's my favorite. I love their butterscotch squares. We order them every year at Christmas. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite kind of chocolate is. So, so far that's what was in that bag. Yeah, it's pretty much melted to the uh, back there. <laughs> Poor thing. She got, she got crushed on the side. <laughs> How sad. Because these are still in date and they could have been, they could have been donated. So I'll save those out and just stick them in a basket because that's a, a cute story. Those don't have to go to waste. Oh, one that isn't melted, but he's missing part of his carrot. I don't know, I don't think a child would care. Maybe he's eating it and that's why part of it's missing. <laughs> Chocolate. Egg roses. Let's have a little chocolate between here. Very nice. These are best if used by uh, February 1st, 2022. That means that they'll still be good for next Easter. This cross survived. Be your own hero. It feels like it's okay. It feels solid. That's cute. 
Did a selfie one survive? Oh, it did! Yay! That would be so fun to put in a basket. Oh! A professor survived. He has one little dot, I think, right there on his thing. But that doesn't matter. They won't care. So cute. Moving on to the next bag. Big win. Um, jelly beans. I guess this is a Rite Aid spring. Some robin eggs. Black jelly beans. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the black jelly beans. Y'all like black jelly beans? These are my favorite um, Easter candy. Is the Malted Robin Egg. So, look at all those jelly beans. Bunny treats. I love Reese's Pieces too. These expire in November of 2020. Peekaboo chicks. Oh, interesting. I've never seen these before. Belgian milk chocolate eggs with a hatching mallow chick inside. Oh, fun. Peeps. I haven't found any um, of the bigger packages of Peeps though. They've all been those four packs. Some lint chocolate. My mom's all-time favorite um, Easter candy is the Cadbury cream egg. So far we have this big industrial bag full of candy so far. Okay, next bag. Bunny imposters. Oh, bunny imposter. Oh, it's a dog. Cute. There's one that's intact. Got a llama, a flamingo, a cow. Mm, not sure what that is. Raccoon, maybe? And a bunny. Oh, nice. Unicorns. I may not have uh, said it before, but uh, unicorns are my favorite thing. <laughs> oh, this one has a different kind of dog. Looks like a little terrier. Cute. Oh, yum. Marshmallow bunnies. Those are good, too. Oh, cute. This is a Belgian milk chocolate Easter egg pop. Expires um, 2022. So that'll be good for next Easter as well. Oh, look at that. A Hatchimals Jumbo Candy Egg. Filled with 10 lollipops, five packs of jelly beans, and one sticker sheet. I don't know if that is still popular with kids or not. I don't have children, so I'm not in the loop on all of that stuff. October 20th of 2021. So this can go in a donation basket. Oh, yum. Russell Stover truffle eggs. Just a Russell Stover hollow milk chocolate. Yes, he does. That's so cute. The jelly bean prayer cross. Smarties. Uh, sucker or candy stick. With a hatchimal. Peanut butter m and Russell Stover peanut butter cream egg. A lint chocolate egg. Ooh, a strawberry cream egg. Yum. Cat 
Cadbury cream egg. Not open. Oh, a Reese's Pieces shake and break. You can hear the little Reese's Pieces in there. That's cute. Coconut nest. Another Hatchimals. Pez. Skittles egg. Cadbury caramel egg. It's the first one of those we've seen. I hope y'all can hear me over this traffic. I'm sorry. Oh, cute. Chocolate tulip. 2-1-2022. That's a different one. Vanilla cream. Oh, an Oreo egg. I've never seen this kind before. This be, is it new? I don't know. And it's starting to rain, so it's a good time for me to finish this bag up. And I'll do the others later. So there's another bag full of candy. Okay, y'all, here's the next bag. Cotton candy, cherry red jelly bean flavored. October of 2020. Oh, I love cotton candy too. <laughs> Everything in moderation, though. Strawberry, coconut. So far, I've only seen the strawberry, the coconut, and the vanilla cream. Pick through these real quick. Oh, I need to expire. August of 2020. I know Frank and uh, Scrap Dog. He likes Ruffles Stovers, but I'm not sure um, which ones he likes. For some reason, coconut cream sticks in my head, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's the truffle. I'm not sure. I think we've seen everything that's in here. Okay, y'all, next bag. A giant Peeps Bunny. Finally, I found more than four in a package. There's eight in this one. Some Brock's uh, Marshmallow Bunnies, individually packaged. They expire in December of this year. I think they'll still be good though, for next Easter. Some more lint chocolate. Looks like they're pretty much peeps and these marshmallows. So I'm gonna if I can I'll put them in another bag, but I want to finish filming this before um, the rain. That's what it looks like up there. <laughs> so, oh, nice, a frozen egg with um, Olaf on it. Candy snowflakes, candy pieces, and stickers are in this. Expires um, June of 2021. So again, I'll use that in the baskets. Okay, next bag. And here's something we haven't seen yet. Marshmallow, oh, Peeps Delights. Peeps dipped in chocolate. I've never seen those before. I wish I was able to lay all of this out for y'all, but it's just too much. It's the rain. Some more Cadbury eggs. Here's one that isn't broken. How cute is that? Oh, it's broke. Oh, well, I feel stupid. <laughs> you can break them up and um, share them in the baskets. Oh, that'll be nice, and I can make them stretch even further. Cadbury. And there's one more, I believe, with the peekaboo chips. And the rest of this is jelly beans and Reese's and those little bunny mouths. Okay, let me get the next bag. Okay, y'all, this is the last um, candy bag that I got there. There's one other bag and um, 
I don't know if I'm gonna do that one yet because of the rain or what, but anyhow. Aw, uh, these poor guys, they just melted right into the plastic. <laughs> Unicorn candy. Oh wow. Haven't seen these before in this stuff. Hazelnut spread. Another one of these things. More cotton candy. A bigger lint bunny. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of these lint bunnies. More eggs. More Oreos, more candy sticks. What else? Is there anything new in here besides this? A whole bunch more loose. I don't really see anything different. Another mess. So, so yeah, they left the dumpster unlocked and I'm not sure if they did that on purpose or if someone lost the key to the dumpster, which is what I'm thinking because that dumpster has been locked for two years. Take care. Until next time.